Oh, let's go. And again as well. Like up. Dead. We're actually on a street right now, boys. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I read his position just then. We're actually all spawning now. I'm actually gonna run out of ammo in a sec. Let's reload real quick. And reload. Oh no. Oh no no. No 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 no. Oh my god, we're doing bits. I got no Yo, what is going on guys? Wizzo here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Now, in the previous video we did, we looked at the M60 and basically gave you guys a two-bullet or a two-shot kill weapon setup with that weapon. And in this gameplay, we're going to move over to the RPD and give you guys a good setup for that weapon. I've actually not done that many videos in the RPD. I've done like two or three on the RPD altogether and I'm really surprised that I've not done more on the gun because it is straight up a monster. Of course, with the right setup on, the one we've got up in this video, bro, you can go absolutely absolutely hand with this weapon and we're going to showcase that in the gameplay later on in the video but for now we're going to show you guys the class cell that we're rocking with this rpd and bro as i mentioned before it looks so so good with diamond camo on it bro i mean just look at how good this thing looks man it's it's honestly diamond camo miles above dark matter let me know what you think down below in the comments of that statement but dark matter it's just a bit underwhelming in this game going on to the attachments of the weapon we're actually using a variant for this weapon and it did come with a couple of attachments on already but i've changed a couple around because they did they weren't really that good um so this is the base attachment we're using on the rpd it looks pretty damn cool but again we've got the diamond cam on so it doesn't really matter too much but going on to the attachments we're going with the Groot suppressor the reason why i like to have a suppressor on lmgs is because it's such a beast of a weapon there's a lot of power in the weapon you move quite slowly so if you do get caught out um without a suppressor on and you're seen on the minimap yeah it can be quite frustrating especially if you're on a high streak so i always like to have a suppressor on an lmg we're gonna go with a 20.3 inch task force barrel because that gives you actually additional damage gives you some magazine cons so for example you don't have as many rounds in a mag as you would typically but again doesn't really matter too much for this particular setup on the rpd going with the vdv speed grip again gives you loads of speed benefits and gives you a little bit of a recoil benefit horizontally as well which is always pretty damn nice to have the mill stop reflex the rpd uh, iron sights aren't or aren't actually that great they're quite small they're quite crowded so i like to have a sight on as well but if you didn't have that and you didn't really like to have the sights on you like the iron sights you can change that out for something like a, a an extended mag or something like that but we're not having an extended mag on this setup particularly and then the kgp skeletal stock is what i've changed out the extended mag for obviously when you're aimed in with this particular stock on you can walk a lot faster whilst aimed in and it helps uh, when sort of a jump shotting around corners and stuff like that and with an lmg you need to be always aware what's going on so guys that is the setup we're rocking in this gameplay this of course also is the full setup we're using in the actual game itself obviously we're here with a trusty 1911 as a secondary if you guys are brand new around here definitely drop a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for all the latest and greatest black ops cold war class helps for the remainder of the cut the game's life cycle but guys without further ado let's get into the gameplay okay here we go the rpd obviously it's such a good gun but it's uh i don't know i feel like the m60 is a little bit better than the rpd in all fairness i'd probably say the rpd is the worst lmg in the category but it's still a really really good gun i mean it's got no recoil at all it's got a fast rate of fire and you can pretty much win gunfights against oh my god anyone you try it against to be honest Boom. Absolutely outplayed there, boy. Okay. I need to try and get out of here right now. Right, let's reload this again for the 16th time. Okay, right. The reloading is becoming a bit, a bit of a problem. So I'm actually going to change the optic for for a, um, an extended mag and see if that helps with the, uh, the issue. Because reloading is becoming a pain for me. There we go. Let's get that. I try the iron sight out again. I've never been a massive fan of the iron sight on the RPD. That's always been my biggest problem with it. Oh, there's so many people here, bro. Go. A bit of a street right now. One thing I love about Diamond in this game is the fact that it covers the whole weapon. Dark Matter literally covers a tiny little bit of the weapon and you spend so long getting it. I just think it's so pointless. The fact that it hasn't been like addressed as a problem or something that needs fixing in general. Bro, I'll never know why we're still in this position that the end camo is worse than the one you get with way less effort. I just, I'd even prefer to rock the gold camo over the freaking Dark Matter camo, which is crazy. I mean, they're spawning right now. This is absolutely perfect. 
Oh my god, I was about to pull the trigger on those two. What? Oh my god. Bro, that guy has just saved his teammates big time. <laughs> Bro, I read his position just then. They're actually all spawning now. I'm actually going to run out of ammo in a sec. Let's reload real quick. And reload. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. We're doing bits. Let's go. Oh, my God. We're doing bits. Poor machine. This is perfect. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up that. Upstairs, downstairs, downstairs. No, he's up. Hello. You're going to pop over. Dead. Nice. Love that. You're going to die too. Dead. Love that. Oh, no. Oh, no. We were literally a bullet off that. What streak were we on just then? The good thing about the setup is as well that if you are going for gold camo or something on the RPD, this is a very good setup to go for. There's, there's, there's like a mixture of high level and low level attachments. Boom, let's go. You know what, I take it completely back. You don't need a red dot on the RPD at all, to be honest with you guys. So like for longer range, you do. But for like medium to short range or clearing off our, our objectives and being quite rushy like we are at the moment, you don't actually really need um, a red dot on this weapon. I feel like I was being a bit overcautious. And to be honest, that's what I used to rock when I was going for uh, camos. If you are going to, trying to go for camos and things on the RPD and are looking for a, bet, a good setup to do that, I would 110% rock a red dot. But if you're only going for like kills and trying to do well with a weapon or trying to get some sort of challenges done, like kill challenges and things like that, then yeah, I would probably go with just an iron sight. But if you just want a beefy weapon with loads of ammo going into a gunfight, yeah, you can be so accurate with this thing as well, man. Not to mention it looks great with a diamond camo, so you can't really complain. Ooh, let's go. Another guy coming around here too. Dead. I'm over. Oh, let's go. Absolutely filthy. And again. There's still more people here as well. Woo! Oh my god, yes. I came up. Dead. Another guy coming up too. Dead. Up. We're actually on a street right now, boys. Oh, my God. Hello? Dead? Oh, no. It's bomb It's going to screw me. Dead? Dead? <laughs> oh, my God. How am I alive? Bro, that was the craziest game. Oh my god, we did bits at the end. What streak were we on? There we have it, guys. That is the RPD. Um, I'm only going to showcase the one game because it was just a, it was just, it was a crazy gameplay to be honest. Went 75 and 11 or something crazy like that on a skill-based matchmaking game as well. Yeah, I can't complain. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that game. If you're happy, just leave a like on the video and subscribe down below if you're brand new for the latest and greatest class sales for Cold War for the remainder of its life cycle. But guys, without further ado, we'll see you all in the next one.